Greetings. So in today's video, I want to go over how to effectively make between 1.6 bill to 2 bill silver an hour LV Orcs Money Realm as a Sucks Age. Crossbot AP Caps can be found at Garmouth.com. I'll put a link to that in the description below. PvE add-ons are shown that allows permanent uptime of monster AP, crit chance, crit damage, cast speed, and some back attack damage. The AP from the add-ons will help you reach that 856 AP cap, so take that into consideration when calculating your total AP. It's important to note that all Elvia spots are considered a 5% AP value over cap. This simply means any AP above the grind spot cap will only have 5% value per AP points. However, we'll be trying to get more AP than caps, so we have AP to sacrifice for more external damage types. I'll explain this later. Artifacts should always run AP against monsters and PvE, or Kaboos if you have them. Lightstones, we want to run the Wild Demi Human, which consists of an Iridescent and three raw Lightstones. I'll explain why later. In an ideal scenario, you want to be running all out attack Lightstone effects, as this provides the biggest damage boost for not only this grind, but for most grinds in Black Desert Online, giving 24 AP and 5% crit damage. Now that we have a basic understanding of how the monster AP caps work, we now need to find means to reach it or even surpass it to allow us to drop AP for more external damage types. Let's go over buffs next. First, you're going to need a food buff in which you need raw AP. You're going to be using a simple cron mill. If you are surpassing the AP cap without a simple cron mill, you can swap this for an exquisite cron mill. This is where external damage comes into play. A simple cron mill provides 30 monster AP, whereas an exquisite cron mill only gives 8 all AP, but also provides 5% crit and back attack damage. These are values that go over the cap. Next we want to cover droughts. If you need more monster AP, you'll want to run a frenzy drought of corruption. If not, then you can use a cheaper giant drought. Then we have church buffs. Each costs 10 mil silver for a 5 hour duration buff. These can be found in any major city. You'll want to have the blessing attack. DP is below 340 or you're running a frenzy drought around this DP, then I also recommend the Blessing Protection. Lastly, I'd like to grab the 10% crit damage buff from Carolyn in Hydor. It costs 25 energy and lasts for 30 minutes, effectively giving us a 50% uptime during the mining grind. Lastly, this is my usual PvE crystal setup, which prioritizes the AP and some external damage. As you attain better gear, you'll have more AP naturally to sacrifice for more external damage, such as damage to demi humans. This is why we run the wild demi human lifestone effect. We also want to slide as much demi human damage into our crystal setup while maintaining the AP cap of the ground spot for the same reasons. These crystals are all called carnage and are dirt cheap on the marketplace. Last things to note before we get into the grind itself LB Serendia uses its own money stones. Once filled, they can be traded one to one for a shard. Assuming you're selling a cup at max value of 5 billion silver, a shard is valued at 25 million each. These are the only things you should be exchanging these money stones for. These mining stones can be purchased in Glish from Wakitoshi. On average, I fill between 5 to 6 per hour. They cost nothing, so feel free to get a bunch. I also highly recommend using a level 2 loot scroll for Orcs, as it's primarily a trash spot grind, so you'll get high value doing so. Make sure you have a T5 pet and as many T4 pets as possible. I cannot stress how important of an investment this is for the whole of Black Desert grinding. Be sure to set your pets to Agile for the fastest loot speed. Lastly, you'll want to activate Agris for any Orc spawns that may occur while grinding. It'll drop a large portion of trash, which is greatly benefited from Agris. Try to isolate and kill only Orc with Agris and uh, deactivate it once he's dead. Be sure to deactivate it. You do not want to burn Agris on the regular mobs. It's really bad value. That about covers it. So I'll show uh, one or two rotations with a weapon and without. So you have a good understanding of how to do the rotation. As always, you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash grimkill and bombard me with questions you might have. I'll put a link in the live stream in the description below. You can also join the Discord and let me know there. Links in the description below. Just be mindful of the, uh, the weaves and the outrageous amount of booba. If you want more grind spots covered, then uh, let me know in the comments. Depending on how well received this video is, I'll cover more. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any input or improvements I could add, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. Enjoy!
appreciate you all watching today and uh i'll catch you in the next one